Hello, buddy. My name is Mike Richards. I'm going to analyze your swing today. Thanks for sending your swing into the Golf Digest Challenge. It looks like on your email you go to Dayton or you involved with Dayton University. I grew up in uh, actually Delaware, just north of Columbus, Delaware, Ohio. Hey, anyway, looking at your golf swing, I really like your posture right here. That's not a big issue, so let's keep that. Um, I can't see your grip or see how good it is, um, so let's we'll, we'll talk about something down the road here. If you can, if you want to do this swing again for me in a couple of weeks, take the same view that you're giving me, change your camera to a sport mode if you have a sport mode on your camera. Most of them do. Or if you don't, find a way to change your shutter speed to a higher shutter speed, like a 1-1000 or a 1-1500 or a 1-2000. That will enable me to see the shaft and the face a little bit clearer. However, when you swing the club back, this is what I want to see you, see you work on. As the club goes back, your club goes okay to start with, and then it twists way off plane. Here's what this means. When you continue the club up, and I think you can see the blurriness to the shaft, so we can kind of get an idea where the shaft is in this swing. And that's where the 1,000 or 1, 2,000 club is. There's the shaft of your club. Well, if we were to draw a straight line from the shaft of that club through your hands and put it here, that club is laid off and flat. That club actually, buddy, let me... Uh, show you when you watch a good swing and I'm going to put Anthony Kim's swing up here when you watch a good swing when it gets halfway back a good swing when you run the same line down through the shaft down through the hands will point down your target line and remember a target line goes in infinity in both directions your shaft goes way over here and it's laid off. So now what happens, buddy, is you have to have an extremely corrected golf swing and that's why you're inconsistent. You're going to bring the club down somewhat from the inside. I don't know what your shots normally do, but from this angle, this ball's got to go to the right. Unless you flip your hands at the bottom. You can probably get away with what you're doing with a short club. With a long club, you got no chance. Hopefully you're not hitting any cars up there. <laughs> I don't know where you're aiming this thing. Maybe down the road. Hopefully the neighbors don't mind. It looks like you have a good idea what goes on with the golf swing with your hands. I would just like to fix the backswing and how the club hinges up and goes upward. So buddy, when you swing the club back, let's work on the proper wrist cock and wrist hinge going up. And I think you can see the difference between what you do and what Anthony Kim does. And I'd like to see you work a little bit better on that wrist cock right here. Now I don't know anybody in the Dayton area if you still live in Dayton or where you live at, but uh, if you can find somebody in your area that's got a decent reputation as an instructor and has a video system, really go over there and work on some swings. And the only thing I want you to work on right now is a wrist hinge, a wrist cock. Make sure that club goes up on plane properly. Right now you're too laid off. The second thing we'll work on down the road is not stiffening this right leg up so much. Right now when you stiffen up that much, your weight's going to be thrown to your left side so you have a hard time getting some, some good distance with your tee shots because your weight's on the wrong side. So, buddy, work on those two things. And like I said, if you want to work on it, send me another swing. I have no problem diagnosing it. Just send it to my attention, and somehow they'll get it to me. Uh, thanks for sending your swing on the Golf Digest Challenge, and good luck to you, and look forward to your swing, buddy.